Yo, what up? Welcome back to your favorite podcast, Truth Talks, where the truth is always talking. I'm your host, Crazy Bone. What's happening with it? I'm the co-host of Bum, Keith G. Yes, indeed. And right about now, it's that time. Oh, yeah. It's about time for us to roll up some real talk and smoke on some good conversation. Man, that's how we got to do, man. <laughs> like Happy to be back, man. Like we always do about this time, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yep. this evening, we're going to... This evening we're gonna focus on and, and, and talk about uh the fall of real men. Yeah. That's right, fellas. It's about us, you know what I'm saying? It's about us tonight, you know, the fall yeah. of real men. A little bit, you know what I'm saying? But we even dive into that type of thing too, like we always like to do. Thanks for every listener, every person that's participating with this show. Really? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Truth talk, man, the numbers is up, man. So we you know, congratulate y'all along with our success at the same time too, bruh. Yes indeed. We thank y'all. We thank y'all. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So when we say, so when we say the fall of real men, <clears throat> you know, uh, we, you know, we say this because the presence of real men has been missing for quite some time now. Right. You know what I'm saying? We spoke about this topic once before. You know what I'm saying? But um, being that we do have this new platform now, and you know, we with new partners, and just helping us reach even more viewers, yeah. we like to review this. You know, re- recycle this 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 topic. Right. To make sure that the people hear this message, they really need to hear, and we've updated some of the um, some of the information since the last time. So, jumping right into it, yeah, the fall of real men. A lot of suckers around, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but it is like that, man. You know, hey, sometimes even 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 before the um, message, though, without. You know, we it's it's hard to even blame people without no guidance, cause a lot of a lot of the um a lot of people to show them a role model of things is either a lot of them is dead, or a lot of them gone and locked up. You know, so we about to get into this kind of thing. You know, cause it's to be a young a young boy right now, it's hella hard, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, a lot yeah, of people talk, ain't got nothing, nothing to look forward to. So right, so jumping right into it, you know, it's a lot of real, it's a, it's a lot of men in the world, but yeah. as we all know, it's not a lot of real men in the world. You know, and it's a big difference, yeah. real big difference. You know, so what is a real man? You know, um, I want to read from an article that I found. You know, so I actually found a few articles, but I like this one because it breaks down the popular misconceptions about manhood. <clears throat> this is what the world. This is what the world thinks a man is, or this is what they say about a man. Right. One, real men are tough. They don't cry. <clears throat> real, men, real men don't let anybody tell them what to do. Men are better than women. Oh, see, that's a real one right there. Boy, you get <laughs> you get stabbed saying something like that these days. Nowadays, so. really don't. <laughs> saying that last one, boy, gets you in a gets you in a bra. Really don't, man. For real. Oh, so 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 um. Then it says another way to look at it. It says manhood is the opposite of boyhood not the opposite of womanhood. <clears throat> you become a real man when you have left behind the traits of a child. Just like the Apostle Paul said, when, a ba- when, I, when I was a babe, I used to speak as a babe, to think as a babe, to reason as a babe. But now that I've become a man, I've done away with the traits of a babe. Right. In other words, the more you replace childish ways with your, 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 your childish ways of thinking, speaking, and acting with mature ways, of thinking, speaking, and acting, then the more you prove yourself to be a real man. Take that. It's 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 really maturity that makes you that makes us real men. You know what I'm saying? Just like you brought out in the article, when you start to grow out your childish ways and you put them behind you and you let the elementary things in life, you let them go. You know what I'm saying? Then you yeah. become you become a real man. It's not necessarily when you become an adult and turn eighteen. Exactly. And it ain't when you turn twenty one. And you and, and, and your your drinking age, right? Because yeah, manhood ain't something that just falls into you. I know some. I know some niggas in their forties and fifties. Some niggas still ain't mature yet. I mean, really <laughs> no lie. Real talk. Really though, man. It just it's not an age thing. Some 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 people come into it. More, it just depends. Once like how we were saying before, it depends. I guess on the, the the model that's in front of you or whatever you choose to follow. A lot of people get their role models from the streets. 
lot of people get them from television and different you know different formats like that because in the home especially lower community oh, homes yeah. there's not really sometimes uh a man that you could look at that's just present real talk too tough so 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 young boys and and men out there you know i just want to say it, it, it's it's really nothing wrong with a man showing his emotions whether you shed tears or you expressing to somebody how much you care about him you know what i'm saying it ain't nothing wrong with that. Right. That don't that don't make you soft. It don't make you less than a man. You know what I'm saying? Men men are human beings too. That's right. And although most of the people in the world today portray a man, you know, like a real man as being somebody that's hardcore and tough, that's really not you, that's that's not necessarily the case. You're being misinformed on what a real man is. You know what I'm saying? So. It's also a stereotype that says the real men don't let nobody tell them what to do. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. You know what I'm saying? It, it really, it really is. No, 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 really. You know what I'm saying? Because a smart man would tell you that that comment, <clears throat> but that comment makes absolutely no sense. Because I can honestly say that men, and not just men, anybody that goes through life with the attitude of not letting anybody tell them what to do or taking advice from anybody is going to end up paving out a very difficult path yeah. in their lives. You know what I'm saying? These, these are the kind of people that usually got to hit the brick wall three or four times and still be wondering why, you know what I'm saying, they end up in the same place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, we like to have everything in our, you know, we, we, we like to have everything, everything we our way in life, but you know the fact is, you know, this ain't this ain't Burger King and we can't have everything our way. It's it look at the pattern that they laid out for a man to even follow. You know, it's it's even difficult. Even now what you're talking about, even down to the crying or, or anything like that. It's a God put emotions for a dude to have. And I ain't saying run around like no cry baby, but you have different times where a man has a show, you know, different different uh traits of what's going on, you know what I'm saying, inside your mind. You know what I'm saying? You let those kind of emotions out, you know. Because it is, it's different things that you may be sad about. Because bottling something in and not talking to nobody, that's True. strike number one. You know what I'm saying? For sitting down, you're a psychiatrist, best friend going to be, if you need to see somebody, you're going to go crazy. Because you need to talk about what's going on inside yourself. And when you hold everything in, it actually going to mess up your insides and all that too. You know what I'm saying? That's what them doctor people say. <coughs> that's real talk. So we, we, don't, we don't necessarily want to keep influencing the younger generation to be prideful. Yeah. You know, we can we we can teach them to be proud young men without being puffed up with too much pride yeah. or thinking too much of themselves to the point to where they're looking down on everybody else like they're better than them or 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 superior. So, you know, if we teach them stuff like this, don't don't if we teach them things like don't let nobody tell you what to do, it's almost like we coercing them into showing a lack of respect for for authority figures. And when you taught to have a lack of respect for authority figures, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna have a very rough life and it usually ends up with you going in and out of jail yeah. a whole lot of times. Yeah, they got places for you. <laughs> like for real, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna have to learn how to adjust in this world. And where, do you, where you think that came about from, you know, just, that, that bravado that they always give to males is just, you know, you have to be this alpha male, you know, because cause that don't really even coincide when, when you get your female, your lady cat, or you, you know what I'm saying? When you're talking to your female, it almost makes you insensitive to her, you know, because you got so much of bravado on that that, you know, you uh, the, the way that you treat her is uh, damn near like second citizen or second class, you know? I would, I would, I was just, I was just about to say when you, when you, when you like influence this type of, this type of stuff to the young generation, you know, it also <clears throat> it also kind of think of um kind of breed bullies, right? You know, and it give it gives a young dude the impression that he can just take and have anything you want, be you, just like you said, be abusive to women. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, all that. You know what I'm saying. So it's like um these are not wise things to teach aspiring young men nah. <clears throat> because authority is something that. It, if authority in the wrong hands with anything, I don't care if it's military power, whatever it is, even if, if you got more money than somebody, if you got the wrong authority and you're treating somebody wrong, you're going to have yourself like this and they're going to be under you like this. And you're going to unevenly treat people and then that authority puffs your own self up. 
and you don't become nobody's you don't become nobody's husband and that's your wife you become ruler and now you have a monarchy in the house you know that's where a lot of this stuff was built on look look how cats used to treat women a long time ago they just used to be able to put on pants a while ago i mean it was what was that in the 50s <laughs> yeah now who want to stop a woman from putting on pants or even look at the the wages and things like that where men have really abused their authority on that women still get paid less than men that's just something that all these kind of teachings keep going on along with how men and women interact with each other, you know? Yeah, that's true. And then we then we have the one the one stereotype we were just talking about where the lady's been waiting for me to bring it up. <clears throat> so they can clown us. But the one where some men believe that men are better than women. You think Oh yeah, you say you think so, then No. Nah. <laughs> Don't put me out there like that, having people emailing me like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, but my email broke too. Nah, <laughs> I think the, the way, even the way God designed that is he made woman from a man's rib, you know, to to be an equal, to be a helpmate. Because he looked down and said, hey, it ain't good for man to be down there alone by himself. You know, like yeah, that. Yeah. You need a helpmate. So he didn't put women as a second class citizen. What he did was... If if a man and woman come together, now you're a complete person. That's just yeah. if you ask me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I mean, you know, we we ain't gonna even argue about this, ladies, you know, because we all know that this is not true. You know, <clears throat> we are not better than women. Nah. And women are not better than men. You know what I'm saying? Again, we again we looking at this from a guy's point of view, not from man's. Word. Now man will tell you they you know, different. I mean, uh better or worse. But yeah, and just because it's saying the scriptures that God created the woman as, as as the weaker vessel, don't mean that you know we was just supposed to dominate and reign supreme over them. And you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> That's not really what it mean. And this is why you know a lot of people a, a lot of people have been misinformed. This is why you have so many young men out here, just like. Just like running reckless, they yeah. they they really have no direction, and um, it's really it's really um, well, well, we're gonna get into that. But I want to say, you know, what I'm saying a lot of people want to say it's because like there's no father figure. That's true, but there's other things that you know we get back into that. But um, yeah, moving on. Uh, man, what was I? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. So um. We have to stop teaching our sons that um, we got to quit teaching our sons that women, that the woman is the enemy and that women is inferior to men. Because where do we? Because honestly, where do we get this theory from? We get that from the world. Exactly. God never told us these things, and nobody, you know, and anybody that tries to go to the Bible to prove this is an idiot. Really though, I mean, men, men, men. Because put people that, be doing it though. They be like, no, 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 no. But but it, but it's saying the scripture though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that you supposed to have like, like, right. bro, like. That's a misconception of what's there. Yeah. People sometimes will misconceive that so they can use it for their own uh, authority, so they can keep women as second class citizens because how they're doing them exactly like right now. And that's why we don't really get to the good teachings for a young boy or a young man to respect to grow up to respect a woman the way that she should be. Not as no, you know, just backseat driver or nothing like that. She's equally your partner in this. And if you do it right, you could have a great relationship with somebody. You you know yeah. what? She'll add to you and you'll add to her. She don't have to walk behind you. She can walk right on the side of you as you, you know, because sometimes a dude need a, a woman's hand to be like, hey, look here, baby, it's going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? You can make it because the world going to kick your ass sometimes these times. And when you go to the house, sometimes you may need your spouse a lot of times kick you between the shoulder blades, man. For the people that's watching with their children, you know, it's going to, you need that kind of, uh, you know, when you get your woman's approval like that, like, baby, it's going to be all right. You feel like going and attack the whole world tomorrow. You may just regroup and vice versa for her, too. She may have had that kind of day. And you're like, baby, what's happening? Look, you may have worked this kind of job. I may have worked this kind of job. Ain't nothing wrong with me have cleaned the house up before you get there. That ain't just woman's work. You know what I'm saying? This is our house. We supposed to take care of the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't just wait for you to get home and make no food. Or none of that kind of situation. If when you do things as a team, you get organized and you do that thing properly. But this is not what's taught, even in the music that we have for a young man. 
I, the, when, I mean, we we, and, we gonna and, get to that. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. But I'm glad you brought the music up because one because I was I was gonna say one thing. One thing we do got to realize. We just got we got to keep 100 right here on this part. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And and tell the truth. That's what the show is called. You know what I'm saying? So and this may sound crazy, but it's true. Now a lot of what we are in the culture, a lot of what we are, how we dress, how we think, how we feel, yeah. is influenced a lot by the entertainment that we take into our brains and that we allow, you know, and, and, and the propaganda that we allow to consume us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, um, if an idea is consistently driven into our very impressionable young minds, you know, that bitches ain't shit, uh, women shouldn't be trusted, you know, um, over time, it's gonna have a very negative effect on a person, and it can become a normal way of thinking. And pretty soon, hey, you know that's just the way it is. Yeah. And the cycle continues. I grew up when I the era we grew up in, taking a girl to to go eat and paying for that. That's that's almost like blasphemy or something. You know, that's like what you did that. You know, it would be the opposite way around. It would be encouraged to, you know, because it, we come. It's a pimping era. You know what I'm saying? That's why I would even want to even ask, you know, what was men play a, a big role in the part of the way women even act to this day? You know, because because of uh, the way we grew up off of this, it wasn't no social media that did that. We just had images and things that was teaching us how to act and the music. Everything I listened to in the 90s was it wasn't a song that promoted, you know, taking a girl nowhere to go pay for it or nothing like that. <laughs> and I ain't going to lie, I got adapted to that. I don't blame them because yeah. all they did was set the table. I'm the good. one that listened to it and you know what I'm saying? Reacted to it and did that, but that's how we all did. We weren't trying to take nobody nowhere. We was trying to go, as in boys say down south, we go trying to go cut. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much it. And just we 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 came a cycle of that too. And that's exactly the way that I know me and my dudes did. That's what we was just looking for. Period. You know, and that that was the wrong way to go about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, kicking it with the opposite sex, G. Yeah. That's and but but pops was gone. A lot of my dudes, pops ain't no pops in the house. I ain't saying they all was dead or in jail. They just was gone. They wasn't there. So you're getting raised by the streets. And when you're getting raised by the streets and by your friend that don't know nothing, and I ain't going to lie, other people may have said something, don't do this or don't do that, but we're looking at them like, man, get out of here, you square. But they was actually saying the right square. things, you know? Square. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So so moving down to moving down in the article, it says, uh, lack of a wholesome father figure and what some people say. If your father, this is what they say, if your father isn't in the picture, you'll never really learn what it means to be a real man. If your father set a poor example, you're doomed to repeat his mistakes. Is that true? I think that I think that's true to a, a very large extent. I think eight out of ten are going to do what you uh, no. are going to fall. Some going to fall into that. That don't that don't have to be true though. Yeah, that's why I said eight out of ten doesn't have to be, but eight yeah, out of but, ten going to fall into that. No. But 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 the point is, it's like this don't have to be the outcome. No. Like people can, you know, like people kind of pretty much just, and I'm gonna keep it one hundred. Sometimes, like you know, what I'm saying I, I don't know if I'm being like tough love or what. Like, but some people, I think, use it as an excuse for too long. Yeah, and too like. You know they 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 use that as an excuse for the reason they did bad stuff, like and you didn't have to go that route. That's true. I know a lot of people that didn't have fathers and didn't grow up with fathers, and they a one, like you know what I'm yeah. saying. Like they 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 law abiding citizens. They got honest jobs and all that. They didn't go that route. It's about the choices you make in life. It is because 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 it's some it's. There's some people that start off the same place you started from. Right. And they use their resources the right way. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So that's what people got to understand. It is two ways to take that. You know, some people, I grew up in a household where there was abuse, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I put it, I put, I could have went the other way. You know what? This is something I learned in trade. So I'm going to beat my wife. Never put hands on my wife. 17 years married to her. You know what I'm saying? But I could have. By seeing that, though, it made me have a, a, a object in my mind to say, you know what, this is something that I don't want to do. Yeah. 
you know what I'm saying, in yeah. life. So I'm, I understand what you're saying, too. It is a way to... It is Definitely. a way for it to, to to not be, you know, it's something that you it's triggers in your head. And I always think sometime too, and I'm asking you, like, you know, if I'm what if I didn't see Pops do that kind of thing, would that be something that stuck out in my mind that I didn't want to do no more? But okay, so so read the longer this, it says another way to look at it. It says, even if you even if you've had a less than ideal childhood, you are not doomed to fail. You can rise above your circumstances. You can choose to follow King David's advice to his son Solomon. Be strong and prove yourself to be a man. Admittedly, it is difficult to grow up with, with an attentive father, an attentive father, or no father at all. A man named Alex said, not knowing your father is a, is, is a huge disadvantage in life. I'm 25, but I feel as if I'm just now learning things I should have learned in my teens. So, I mean, that yeah. is, you know what I'm saying, it it it, it can be a downside yeah. to it. And you can miss out on a lot of things. Yes, you can. But you have to spend you have to hurry up and get that get that pity off your shoulders. Because you got a lot of work to do. Because you got to make up for everything that wasn't given to you. You gotta, you, you gotta. That's that's just extra work you got to do for yourself. That's true. You got to make yourself that man. Yeah. And break the cycle. That, so, that's so, that's that right there. Consciousness know, to break that cycle. It can clearly have an impact on a young boy's life or 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 a young man's life. You know what I'm saying? You miss out on having a positive role model. You know, to guide you through certain key po- periods in life. And then, you know, some of us did have fathers around or, you know, and the father probably maybe didn't like give us, like pay too too much attention to them sorts of things. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, uh, you know what, you're right with that. I know you, you got the power, ultimately, you ultimately got the power to control your destiny no matter what surrounding you was put in, no matter, no matter where you had to start from, like, Trust me. Are you right? I know people with uh, two parents on the premises, pops and mom, good jobs and all that. They still wanted to be an idiot on their time, and they pops showed them a good thing because I'm able to see they pops doing it. Yeah. So I, I know Cassidy was like, I'm, I'm ignoring that. I'm finna listen to what's what's going on in whatever's in the streets. My influence is out there because that's what people yeah. like to do. They they gonna do their own thing with or without an excuse. It's just that some of these things just happen to be you know, something that could prevent you from being, you know what I'm saying, the young man that you Real should talk. be. My father was around for most of my childhood up until I was about 15 years old. So I kind of had some of the guidance, but then again, I was lacking some of it as well because as soon as he left, I got wow. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's very easy for, and it's very easy for us to just throw our hands up and make some excuse like, oh, you know what I'm saying, my father was never there, you know. I I I didn't have a good upbringing and, you know, Nobody really cared. All right, I mean, you know, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? We mourn. I mean, not mourn. You know, like we we sympathize. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of people in this world that was dead bad hands. But you know what they did with that bad hand? Yeah. They played the shit out Play that, that bad hand. hand. Mm-hmm. They didn't sit back and complain or make excuses or give up because the circumstances in which they came from. They kept it pushing. That's true. These people was determined to break the cycle. Like I said, they was determined to be successful in life, regardless to the non-believers, to any obstacles that stood in their way. You know what I'm saying? Because just because your father may not have set a good example don't necessarily mean that you're going to make the same mistakes when you have your kids. You know what I'm saying? Again, the cycle can be broken, and it's up to you if you want to break it. It's not impossible. It takes a lot of hard work. And a lot of hard work, a lot of discipline, and a lot of con- uh, 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 um, a lot of um, consistency. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, you control all that, man. Really, that's true, though, man. Really? What about? Let me ask you. What about the uh, the, the, uh, the 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 influences? You know, what I'm saying we talked about the music, but you know, some of the some of the, the TV shows or the, the movies on the big screen. You so, know, man, so, even so, starting from Superfly and all that kind of situation. So yeah, so so yeah, exactly. Starting with the entertainment, so. The reason, the reason why I always say it's always it's so important to bring young, our young men up 
in the knowledge of God is because the bottom line is this world doesn't have any good advice when it comes to raising a real man. Yeah. At all, you know what I'm saying? Let's 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 talk you you like when we talk about how the world entertainment portrays what a real man is supposed to be, and the views are very dis- the the views are very distorted. Very. You know what I'm saying? The media portrays males. <clears throat> I'm about to read it from the article, the same article. It says the media often portrays males as violent and rebellious. The book Why Boys Don't Talk and Why It Matters notes that the most popular male characters on TV and movies and in sports are the are those with great physical strength who exhibit aggression. The message is that cool is defined by being tough and rebellious. So then it says to think to to think about this. It says, will aggressive disposition help you become a better friend? Father, husband, when provoked, which makes, when provoked, which takes greater strength to vent your anger or to control it? Which would give evidence that you are a real man? I like that. Real. Those are things that, those are things that ain't even offered to a young man or, or older man too. You know, that's something that just, because the world does teach that alpha male. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the 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 weak die and whatever it is, the strong survive and all that kind of situation. So, it it almost takes the the thought process out of anything. That's why you got people that overreact to situations or want to handle things. And look at look at even the, the top of the way the country is. We men think that we safer by having more weapons of mass destruction than making peace. What how that that's the total opposite of how we actually supposed to. We we have a brain. Unlike yeah. animals, you know, and animals could think to a certain capacity, but none think like a human being. We got brains to be able to work situations out, work problems out, but that ain't offered, you know. So just like you're saying, all the heroes is. But it just, but it, but it just goes back to when we say, you know, that um, if something is constantly driven in your yeah. mind, then it eventually consumes, like, it's it's going to consume you and have some kind of effect on you, whether positive or negative. This is what the media entertainment promotes all negative things about men you know um and it's even beginning to affect like just like you said it's even beginning to affect the way that women feel about men you know what I'm saying you hear women all the time saying you know, all men are trash yeah. <laughs> and worse all men are dogs and that ain't even true but oftentimes that's the way men is portrayed in movies and on t- you know in, on TV and and the young mind can draw the conclusion that that's how all men is. Man. That's what it says. It says the media portrays males as obsessed with sex. In movies and on TV, boys change girlfriends more often than they change their clothes, says 17-year-old Chris. Gary, 18, takes it further. The typical boy in the, me- in the media is sex-obsessed. He says, some movies, for example, makes it seem as if a boy's only goals in life are to party, drink, and have sex. Yeah. Saw the movie in the movies I watched from Animal House to, you know, I didn't even get into <laughs> Superfly and them yet in the Mac and all that kind of like, stuff, but you know. Yeah, from yeah. Big like, you know, all that. Now, now, now um, I know, <laughs> there's nothing, I know um, it may seem like the males are, Driven solely by women and sex. I know, dude, a whole oh, yeah. lot, a whole lot. <laughs> but that's because what it, it's it's what's betrayed. That when it's betrayed, this this also tends to make people act out what they see. That's true. You don't you don't you don't often see young men on TV opening up doors or pulling out chairs for a woman. Man, you see the opposite, and it's being done on purpose. That's real, man. Devil know what he doing. Setting traps. Yeah. Yeah. Then it says the media portrays boys as irresponsible. In many popular movies and TV shows, teenage boys are often shown as lazy and incompetent. Perhaps that's why some adults have little confidence in the potential of boys. Gary quoted earlier says, when I turned 16, I found it 
difficult to get a job because business owners in my area wanted to hire only women. They felt that all teenage boys were irresponsible, lazy, and untrustworthy. <laughs> lazy little nigga. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Look you at know. the schedule they set up for us. But this is it. But 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 this ain't even you know like. And that's all the up. You got me thinking even back to a lot of the movies that I watched as a young kid, man. All those movies was what you just said. Everything was sex driven, mm-hmm. drinking, doing things before time. So you're a little shorty looking at these things. Now, if I watch Rocky, what you want to do? Next thing you know, you and your brother's fighting. You watch wrestling on Saturday. What you do? You all wrestling. We play, watch some karate movies. We go on karate. So we watch these movies with overdriven sex. Man, we can't wait till the parents leave so we can have a house party or something like that or do any of the stuff they was doing on TV at uh, too young of an age. You know, it's yeah. people make movies, and I'm not going to blame everything on movies because entertainment is what it is. You know, but at the right way and the right time to watch entertainment where you have an adult mind where you can say, man, this is fantasy and this is, I'm not influenced by this. Mm. But young kids, man, we influenced by everything, man. That's why that TV is so it's a it's a it's a it's a weapon. Man, exactly. And I was gonna say that we have to be careful not to fall into believing these distorted truths. You know, um one one thing I hate is when a person tries to rationalize their hate for another race or another man or woman because of their own personal experiences. Whether you male or female. Right. Whether you male or female, have you ever had a friend come to you and say, man, I'm tired of all these bras, or I'm tired of all these niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm done with them. They all the same. You know what I'm saying? You ever heard yeah. that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, 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 it's kind of like your friend is trying to convince you that women, that all we- men are all women. It's just alike. You hear it all the time. You say, all y'all just alike. From their experience. But that's not true. You know what I'm saying? You can't let somebody else's negative experience determine if your relationship was going to be that way just because theirs was. Because it's not like that person has actually had an experience with every single man or woman in the world. Yeah. So that statement is not true. No. You know what I'm saying? And just because... Just because that person had bad luck with the opposite sex, it don't don't necessarily mean you're gonna be. It's 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 gonna be that way for you. I think sometimes you know we just become frustrated that things don't work out the way we thought they was gonna work out, and then and then the situation just becomes a bad one. But that's no reason to throw shade at an entire race of men, yeah, or or an entire race of women. For real, that's real. People gonna do. What they're gonna do? It is like my man said. It's good men out there, and it's good women out there. It's bad women out there, and it's bad men out there. People are gonna take on whatever role. Because one thing I learned by living That's on Earth, word. yeah. Once <laughs> one, one thing I learned by living on Earth, man, you get an opportunity. Even if you didn't grow up one way, you can see so many things, and you can learn how to act the right way. You learn, like even if you did whatever it is, you didn't grow up. If you didn't grow up saying hi in the house, you you can come to a certain age in your own. Life to say, you know what? It do make sense. It's courteous to say hi in the, in the morning. So things you may not have learned at home or whatever it is, you can trade those kind of things in for better things if you're trying to improve yourself. Some people is just, this is the way I am. You know, but it's it's people out there that, man, I've seen people married for a long time right now, man. It's, it's some old couples right now still. It's rare to see, but there's old couples. It's still old players too. You know what I'm saying? You got dudes out there who's single and they ain't even trying to get married. You know what I'm saying? They 60 and over that, you know, and they still hanging out to whatever the speakeasies or whatever you call it. I've been to some of the spots, too, to see some of them folks, too. It's a trip to be seeing old players, bro. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Young show. Hey, they looking at me like, man, what you doing here trying to collect? You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, it's still it's just the mentality of what people have, man. You got old players, man, and you got young players. It's just like that. It just depends you know, what you put in your mind, you know, but it's a lot of pressure on young men for this, though. I, mean, I was just going to say, you know, uh, um, a message to the young boys out there in the world that's aspiring to be, to one day be real men. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You, like, and this is real. You have to be sure to search for and take in the knowledge of God first and foremost. Even if your parents never instilled this inside of you, don't let that stop you. Educate yourself. There's no university, there's no human philosophy that will make you better equipped to deal with 
things in life and what's coming in the future than the knowledge of God. Everything else doesn't even come close to even comparing. It really doesn't even matter. There's nothing wrong with the with TV and music or the internet, you know what I'm saying? But you just have to be careful because a lot of times these things are used as tools to promote lies and propaganda. Yeah. That's not always the the smartest source to get your information, especially life saving information. That's not always the smartest source. That ain't even gonna be promoted. And you know what I'm saying, gotta keep it real, you know, and I know a lot of you a lot for for a lot of years, a lot of these rap songs have been very misleading to the young generation and telling you that it's cool to disrespect women, that it's cool to look down on women or to treat women inferior. You have been misinformed. You have been misled. We have been misinformed. We. You know what I'm saying? And all, and, and, and although me and my group like grew up we came up, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, we never really made any like degrading music towards women. You know what I'm saying? But if we by any, in any means or by any way promoted that idea that it was cool, we apologize for that because it's not cool. I got five daughters. It's not cool. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't ashamed to say, you know what I'm saying? That in, you know what I'm saying? That if we some way promoted the idea that, you don't say that that we run with that. That's something that a real man can admit to right. and accept. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you ain't got to be right all the time. Shoot, that's real talk. You can be wrong. wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. Nah, it, and it's and it never too late to even try to... It, I know this ain't going to turn everybody around or, you know, just because we're having a conversation like this. But, hell, if you're trying to just cut a couple weeds down, man, so somebody can see something, man, I'm, I'm with that. So I agree with what you're saying. We need to have uh, a lot of parents do need to, I know it's maybe whatever day you may decide to go to a place where you can go holler at the Lord. Some people don't want to wake up early or this and that, or they went up too early and say, I'm not never taking my kids there. I would suggest that you have your men follow your young men or your young women in the house, follow the teachings of God, because do this, Definitely. they'll know what to look for. You know what I'm saying? You get for you If you get a woman that's searching for a man and her criteria is not that he's rich or this and that, but he like, do this man love God? You know what I'm saying? Or if you get a woman, or if you get a man that looks at a woman like that, not just for her body or her attributes or this and that, but do she now? She you, nine times out of ten, she gonna have some sense. So you gonna have I ain't gonna say it's just gonna be smooth like that, but you'll have less to argue about because she got foundation in her head and he got foundation in his, not from the worldly view. You know what I'm saying? This is the last thing I'm gonna say to y'all before we get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just want to say. You know, the world is, this world is controlled by the devil, hands down. And it, and if you look at it, it's very complicated. And he's trying to give us so many things to focus on, so many things that mean absolutely nothing, nothing at all, just to keep us distracted from the one thing that really matters, and that's God. He working, he working to keep us distracted. Trust me, he ain't sleeping in his bed. Mm. That's a that's a full time production putting on the show trying to keep the curtain in front of the God. You know what I'm saying? So he goes out his way to distract us from just this one thing. So we gotta shake it off. We cannot get drowsy. We gotta stay poised, stay sharp, and stay focused. Cause there's only one way out this mess, and it ain't back there. It's straightforward. Check it out. We thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Truth Talks. Remember, the truth is always talking. Sometimes you just got to shut up and listen. Shut up and listen. Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Talk. Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Talk. Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Talk.